Distinguished professor of chemistry Graham Cooks and his research team are making huge strides in the chemical analysis of plant and animal products by combining a miniature mass spectrometer instrument with a technique known as desorption electrospray ionization, or DESI. This technology may one day allow consumers to instantly analyze food and other products for bacteria or pesticides. I wanted to do something which was definitely of interest to the public. Chemicals are good and bad, and we can find out what is in all of the products that people are choosing not having, but choosing to use. Some people might want to measure chemicals they put on their face, you know, the types of makeup or what's in makeup. Uh, you may also want to determine if your lettuce has been contaminated with the, uh, E. coli also. So this instrument can really answer a wide variety of problems um, in one device. Yeah, so a mass spectrometer incorporates a lot of interesting technologies. It incorporates a lot of electronics, uh, high fidelity, accurate reproduction of small signals. It in incorporates vacuums, some pretty fine mechanical work. So all of those things go together to make a device which measures chemicals in the environment or in objects. One of the things that I enjoy doing is digitally building the instrument and then writing a program and simulating its performance. And so this is really convenient because instead of building the instrument which could take months and then testing it and then building another instrument and testing it again. We can simulate its performance in a week and adjust our design based on that. And so that's one of the things that I really like doing is uh, programming, basically. There have been several iterations of the miniature mass spectrometer and they're all kind of based off of their benchtop mass spectrometer. That's really what sets the mini apart from conventional benchtop instruments is that I can take the mini to the sample rather than completely destroying the sample and taking the sample uh, to the instrument. And so the motivation for the portable instrument was to be able to take the lab to the sample, uh, whether that sample was in an oil pipeline, a crime scene, a grocery store. When you talk about food analysis, there's several ways to approach it. Um, you can either consider the antibiotics that they put in meats, you can consider the wax they add on fruits to make them look better. Uh, you can even look at the pesticides, herbicides they applied while the food was growing. And really, as long as you have an idea of what you're looking for, uh, you can tune the instrument to, to hone in on those particular chemicals. This apple is pretty shiny. It suggests to me that somebody spread hydrocarbons all over this apple and you've paid extra because this is not an organic apple. Is this a good idea? It's up, for, to, up to you to decide. But we would like to give people the tools that will allow them to decide. Long term, of course, we'd like to see um, many mass spectrometers in uh, a consumer grade product so mom and pop can take their cell phones to the store and analyze their foods for pesticides, for antibiotics, for all sorts of different things that they might be concerned about. Personally I enjoy forensics so I love analyzing um, illicit compounds, things that you would find in a crime scene. Another application which is hopefully going to be online this year is to look at uh, tissue during surgery. Is, is that cancerous or not? Is that a tumor or not? And uh, right now, there's no easy way to answer that question. We don't just want us to be doing this analysis. We want everyone um, to be doing it so that they have some chemical knowledge of what's going on around them, what they're exposed to on a daily basis. So we think that's really important. Professor Cooks and his team envision a day when everyone will carry their own handheld sensing system to scan for various chemicals and organisms. That wraps up another Boiler Bites. Be sure to check us out online at BoilerBites.com. We'll see you next time.